for the exam, you need to know about Roger Fenton as a war photographer throughout the Crimean War. Here is a picture of Marcus Sparling on his photography van and the views of Balaclava. On each of these pictures you can see the conditions of the men in the tents, you can see the landscape of the Crimea and how they must have suffered um, during the harsh winter and um, the heat of the summer. Fenton was sent to the Crimea to uh, photograph, you know, the sort of glory of war and to glamorise it a little bit, also to show the people what it was like. Um, but really it was to sort of challenge the more negative reportage of William Russell. Roger Fenton had access to commanders as he was officially there. He did have some problems due to the technology of the time. He couldn't take moving pictures like charges into battle. This is why some people say the pictures look staged because everyone had to stand so still. He was not authorised to take pictures of the horrors of war. These photos were to sell on his return. In fact, they were very popular and went on a moving exhibition throughout the country. He was not there to show the horrors of war and frighten the Victorian public. He was there to counteract the negative views of Russell, which people had read in the Times. In fact, some of his photos actually back up, to a degree, Russell's reports. Here are some photos of Balaclava Harbour to give you an idea of how desolate and small it was. You may be able to make out some train tracks being unloaded. San Petto arguably made the first hospital train when he laid the tracks from Balaclava to Sebastopol. Fenton's huge hit was of the Valley of the Shadow of Death, which shows all the cannonballs fired. There has been debate as to whether more cannonballs were added to the picture or not, but it does show the fierce fighting which took place and the barren landscape of the Crimea.